Oh boy, are we all in for a treat today. It's another cooking experiment, but we're gonna be making pretzel bites. I've never made pretzels before, um, so this will be fun. I always like trying something new. You should, you should experiment too. I mean, it's just stuff. So um, here we go. We're gonna be making pretzel bites, little tiny pretzel, you know, not the big knotted things, which are a lot for me, but anyway. So come over here and have a look at what I've got going. Um, I think I have all my ingredients measured out. So what I'm going to do to start here is I'm going to start with, there's three cups of flour in here and I'm going to put just a couple cups in my stand mixer just to start. I have my, um, now this is instant yeast. There's a difference between active yeast and instant yeast. With instant yeast, you don't have to uh, bloom it in like the warm, a warm liquid. You can just, I just go ahead and add it to my flour. If you're using active yeast, you, you really should let it bloom and make sure it's gonna activate for you. This is a tablespoon of sugar I'm going to put in there too. And I'm gonna start, um, oh, in my, my water, which is around 110, 12 degrees, something like that. So I'm gonna just start uh, mixing this up a little bit just by hand. And then I'm gonna transition to uh, my dough hook. I've got um, three tablespoons of melted butter in here. That's, oh God, that's cooled off nicely. That's going in there and I'm gonna just, I know you can't see this, but it's just like a goppy mess right now. And then I'm gonna put the rest of the flour in here. Just getting all dumped in there. And then, um, I think this is a teaspoon of salt. Goes in last. Um, just, you know, keep your, your yeast and your salt kind of at arm's length from each other, at least initially, because uh, salt can sometimes affect the, um, the yeast. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my um, dough hook and put that in going. Just so you can see what's going on in there a little bit. Now I'm going to let that knead for, I don't know, five to seven minutes and see where we are with that. And then um, it really, I'm gonna, uh, I will put it in a, a slightly greased bowl and then it's going to go into my um, proofing drawer in my oven as a proofer so it'll go in there for I don't know I uh, proofing drawers seem to work faster than if you just leave them out on a countertop so I will um, check it in 30 minutes and see where we are and then we'll proceed from there so hang around and I'll be back soon so the pretzel dough has been raising in my oven for about 40 minutes I'd say and it looks like that it's all ready to uh, continue on with the recipe so um just going to sprinkle a little dough on my uh, baking mat i'm going to punch this stuff down and just kind of dump it out here and with my bench scraper um and a little more flour maybe uh, i'm going to just cut this into four four pieces. And then um, just kind of roll this out. I'm not a, I'm not an expert roller if you haven't <laughs> figured that out yet. That's a tricky thing. So your your little log here should be about um, <clears throat> 10 to 12 inches long, which is a little longer than that. But anyway, so um, now you just cut them into chunks, right? So I'll start over here into bites. These are your bagel bites, right? I mean, what, what, what could be easier than that? So the second part, you know what? I'm gonna go before I do this anymore. I'm gonna just park those over there for a sec. 
and have another go at rolling these out. See if I can get them cut up again. Well, I'll start on this end so maybe you can see. So they're just like one inch little bites like that. All right, so I'm gonna wait on the other two for a minute. And so we need to come over here. Cause over here on my stove, I have, a, this is a pan of water <clears throat> that's boiling away to beat the band. And I'm going to put into it a half a cup woo, of, of baking soda. Well, that was fun. Woo wee. Let that dissolve. And I'm gonna then just start um, dropping these um, bagel bites in here. You should boil again here. Whoa, well, nobody's gonna eat that one. Bummer. And, um, cause this needs to be boiling. Oh, and look it is. So I'm gonna just reform my bagel bites here a little bit and um, put them in the boiling water. This must be like um, how bagels are made. I'm gonna only put a few in at a time because um, the water needs to boil. And it says for like 15 seconds, so one Mississippi, two Mississippi. was cool that's like science if I knew my science I probably sh should have known not to just dump it in there like that but wowza that was fun okay so I think that's a good 15 seconds or so and so next to it I have a um, sheet pan with a parchment on it that I have um, sprayed lightly with cooking spray and I'm just going to kind of plop these on there Well, they're still wet. And kind of ooh, spread them out if I can. A little bit. They're hot, I can tell you. And then I have some, uh, this is uh, pretzel salt. Then I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit over each one. I have to send away from my pretzel salt because you know, I live out here in the middle of nowhere in Vermont. And I don't know where you get pretzel salt here, so I have to send out for that. And I'm going to put my gas stove didn't like that I put. Yikes. I'm gonna cuddle these up closer with each other. And see what we can how many we can get in this pan. So I'm over I'm over here. I think you can see me a little bit. And we'll have another go at um, more up. And take these babies out because I think it's been 15 seconds for them. Oh wow, this feels like science to me. Right? So you only want to put a few in there at a time because the baking soda has a bit. <clears throat> My oven is telling me it's ready. I'm just going to anoint these with a little more uh, pretzel salt. And this batch is ready to go in the oven. So that's what we're going to do. And they're going to bake at 400 degrees on a lower shelf for um, 12 to 15 minutes, and I'll be back in a little bit and we'll see how we did. I'm back <clears throat> and I'm eating a pretzel bite <clears throat> that I have um, 
they're out of the oven. They've been cooling. Here they are. And as an added <clears throat> bonus, I made some um, dipping sauce. This is a cheddar cheese dipping sauce. Oh my God. It's really a piece of okay. <clears throat> so here they are. These are soft bagel bites. The cheddar cheese dipping sauce. Now this was easy. <clears throat> you just make a bechamel with um, a tablespoon of butter, two teaspoons of flour, dry and still chewing, an eighth of a teaspoon of dry mustard, uh, a little pepper, a cup of milk, and make your bechamel, and then add two cups of grated cheddar cheese. <laughs> and let it melt <clears throat> and then dip away friends have a blast so um i wanted to share i don't know where i put it but where i got my um, pretzel salt um i will share that link at the end <clears throat> so just to re just to review what's in this stuff because i'm tired of writing out the directions every time so in the um, pretzel bites, there's um, a cup of warm water, like 111, 15 degrees, a tablespoon of sugar, a packet of either active dry yeast, which you'll then have to bloom, or if you use instant yeast, which is two and a quarter teaspoons, you can just mix in with the flour, three cups of flour, a teaspoon of regular fine salt, table salt, three tablespoons of unsalted butter melted and cooled, a half a cup of baking soda for my <laughs> disastrous <laughs> thing over here with the water and some uh, either flaky salt or pretzel salt for the tops. <clears throat> and you saw how we made it. So <laughs> go give it a try. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you'll try it. I want to thank you for tuning in. And I'll leave some affiliate links at the end, plus where I got the pretzel salt. So please join me again at Cooking Homemade with Jill. Take good care.